So, I think I'll do an experience report on, well, I will do an experience report on 5 Mio DMT. Can't guarantee it's going to be any good, mainly because I'm pretty damn tired and I've just done one on ayahuasca. So, 5 Mio DMT. A fairly exciting one, but nothing to visually wet your knickers over as far as I'm concerned. Although other people have reported visuals. I've only smoked the substance. I haven't had it with um, as far as Hawaska yet. So I might try that at some point. I might not. I've had both light and heavy experiences with this. And have a lot of experience with this. So there are a couple of things. First off. It doesn't compare with DMT. In the same way visually. That's true. However, mentally and physically, it has pretty similar effects, if not more intense physical effects, I would say. Second off, for me personally, this is the kind of thing that I could smoke all day at parties in small amounts and just enjoy. It's, it, it's kind of a thing to put you in a good mood, in my opinion, rather than to be used for its hardcore psychedelic properties just because it lacks the visual component whilst it has a similar ego and psychological depth to DMT the lack of this the lack of the uh, visual component for me just doesn't do it and it doesn't seem to be as intense on the ego intense on the mind as DMT itself anyway I'll go on by talking about a couple, an experience or two I've had with it so, um, oh God, when did I first play get the stuff? Quite a few years ago is when I first took the stuff. But yeah, I remember getting it. I think it was hydrochloric form, actually. So you'd, uh, you'd smoke it in a bong, and some of it would stick to the bong, and some of it would melt the, um, the little meshes, if I remember correctly. Anyways, um, yeah, I remember smoking small amounts of it, and I remember it making me feel quite physically nice. It made my chest feel really weird. Like um, it was kind of being pulled and squashed. Not in a nice breathy way. Like it was my throat and my lungs were being pulled forward. Whilst the sort of sides of my ribs were being squashed. It wasn't the best feeling. But that was only at lower levels. At lower levels, I didn't feel too good on the lungs. But the body felt great. The rest of the body felt like it was floating, like it was sort of coming out. I could feel like a small amount of physical warping and a small like sensation going through me, like a nice inside tingling sensation that was pulsing through me at lower doses. I felt mentally quite stimulated and happy. It's a very nice chemical at low doses it's the sort of thing that I would put a lot into a small single skin joint and smoke until I feel good and then I'd get a little higher than I imagined because it takes about a minute or so to kick in and then feel really good nearly quite trippy but not really trippy and I found that smoking it in low doses was really nice like quite rewarding felt physically good not too intense, not too unintense, you know, it's the kind of thing that you'd smoke from time to time during the day. It lasts about 20 to 40 minutes. I, I say 20 to 40 minutes because you've got 20 minutes of really feeling it and then another 20 minutes of sort of being like, it's wearing off but you've still got the afterglow kind of thing. And then another 20 minutes of the actual afterglow where your brain's adjusting. <laughs> but the real effects are 20 minutes and as I say there's another 20 minutes of s sort of effects so there's a 40 minutes of effects that I'd actually count and then all in all there's an hour I'd say of knowing that you've been on a substance but those last 20 minutes after that's done like you don't feel anything you just sort of know it's just a bit different but you, you don't really notice it intensely it's just like your body can tell kind of thing and that hour's gone you feel pretty much normal if you um, if you eat a bit and have a bit to drink I find anyway now let's get to the higher level experience so um, if 
or account a particular experience. I think I snorted some of it and I got fairly high off that, almost to a really intense level. But then, just a few minutes into that level, I smoked some through a bong. I smoked quite a lot through a bong. And now, for the first minute or so after that bong hit me, I got to the highest level I got on the lower levels. My body felt pretty good, apart from the weirdness in my chest. And my heart was becoming a bit more rapid and beaty. I could feel, like, my body moving and adjusting inside of itself, a bit of warping. And, uh, yeah, I felt up bliss. And then all of a sudden I got a rush, like an intense rush of, like, white light coming through me. I felt as though I was shaking really, really fast, vibrating really hard. I could feel energy pulsing through my body. I felt like I was going to have a seizure. It was amazing, but it was also a little worrying. My heart was going boof, 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 real, real fast. I sort of felt my heart sort of sat down and it kind of felt as though my heart had stopped beating. Now at the moment it felt as though my heart had stopped beating. Got that powerful rush, like you do when you're on DMT. That sudden click, and it all became white light. I could feel myself fully expanding. But I didn't fully expand like I did on DMT. I sort of felt like I fully expanded. Felt like a snap in my body. Felt like I was fully coming in. So I felt like I was fully expanding. Just about to go for infinity, and then coming back in. And fully, like, imploding. Just about to reach... The point where you just keep imploding and then expanding again. So I felt kind of like I was expanding and imploding. I also felt like I was rotating and as well as going up and down. So it was a very, very odd but amazing physical sensation. I felt like I'd let go of myself. I started laughing at this point. I felt like I'd let go of my worries. I remember feeling like... My hands were kind of huge hands and at the same time like little pieces of jelly that I could cut through. As though they were ghostly in a way. But there were no visuals. This was quite disappointing. There were no visuals. I felt the complete disconnect from my ego. I felt an amazing sense of oneness and peace with the world and peace with myself. I remember having loads of weird psychological processes and laughing at all the silly games I play on my head, all the worries that I have, all the worries that the world has. The worries that the world has worries, that silly worry was a silly worry to me. And it kind of made me realise that it's all just a silly game. We should all enjoy it, rather than worry about it. So, in that respect, it does have a good psychological impact. But there's no visualness to it, you know. You close your eyes and get closed eyes feeling of moving, but you don't get proper visuals. You get really, really slight whiteness and things feel and look more intense because they feel more intense. But it doesn't seem like colours become brighter or change as such. There's a little bit of warping, but not really of colours meshing and blending or anything as such. So it's very dissimilar to other psychedelics, in my opinion, for that reason. It's not dissimilar to DMT in the way it feels. It's dissimilar visually, I guess. I guess in the way it feels a little bit. It's like it makes you feel better than DMT in some ways. But it doesn't give you the visual and it doesn't give you the spiritual. It's like the good feelings of regular DMT without the deeper meaning to it. It's like a bliss drug. It's got some deep meaning in that it is a bliss drug in itself, but it's not got the deep, deep, profound meanings that you get from DMT. It's not really outwards entity seeking, it's more an inwards entity thing, like you're pleasing the entity within yourself, and the outwards entity is kind of happy because you're happy, but it's not like you're gaining anything from them. That's kind of how I feel. I feel like um, it's good stuff to smoke if you want to feel the DMT high without being high. But yeah, that's what I think with 5 Mio DMT. My personal recommendation to myself is smoke as much as you want of it. Um, first time is be careful because it's quite easy to smoke a bit and then think it's regular DMT and smoke a bit five minutes later and have smoked too much. 
it's also um, quite physically intense, like, it makes your chest feel fucking AWOL, man. Although, on higher doses, it became so bizarre that it didn't really matter, like, you break through a barrier physically, and it just feels good. But on the lower doses, it feels a little weird and disconcerting sometimes. So, um, yeah, I'd say 5-MeO DMT doesn't completely cut scratch with its, um, cousin DMT, or niece DMT, or whatever you want to call it. But, it's nice, it is fun, it's a good thing to smoke uh, from time to time, or just as a little upper in a way. And, um, it feels nice. But be careful on lower doses, because it also feels strange. Um, thanks for listening, I guess. Goodbye.